English Language Essentials, Understanding, Robotic Vacuum. Hello everyone, welcome to our English Language Learning Channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating modern term, robotic vacuum. This phrase is not just about technology but also a great example of how English combines words to create new meanings. So, let's dive in and demystify, robotic vacuum, together. The term, robotic vacuum, is made up of two words, robotic, and vacuum. Let's look at each word individually. Robotic, refers to robots or technology that operates automatically. A robot is a machine designed to carry out tasks, often mimicking human actions. Vacuum, refers to a cleaning device that uses suction to remove dirt and debris from floors, carpets, and other surfaces. When combined, robotic vacuum, describes a machine that cleans floors automatically, using robotic technology. A robotic vacuum is a self-operating machine that cleans homes without human intervention. It uses sensors to navigate around obstacles and may have various cleaning modes. These vacuums are rechargeable and often return to their docking stations after cleaning. Understanding its functionality helps in comprehending the phrase better. Let's put robotic vacuum into some sentences. I just bought a robotic vacuum to help with the cleaning. The robotic vacuum is stuck under the couch again. Can you program the robotic vacuum to clean at night? These examples show how the term is used in everyday conversation. English often combines words to describe technology or gadgets. Similar phrases include smartphone, a mobile phone with advanced features, wireless headphones, headphones that connect without cables, ebook reader, a device for reading digital books. These examples illustrate the pattern of combining words to form new meanings. We hope this video has clarified the meaning of robotic vacuum and given you insight into how English creatively forms phrases. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about understanding the concepts behind them. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video where we'll unravel more fascinating English terms.